Why is that tree attacking our house? in your nipples and, and they'll drop off and you'll look like action man. <laughs> so what's wrong with you? Do you know you found out Janet isn't pregnant? Well, yeah, well, I was happy about it, but it didn't make me want to run around in my undercrackers. I just found out the exact opposite. What, Janet is pregnant? No, Donna is. Yeah, well, you see, technically, guys, that's not the exact opposite now, is it? Do you not just say what I just said? No, no, I know Donna's pregnant and everything, but... Oh, bugger. <laughs> there you go. Cup of tea will sort you out. I'm in serious trouble. Why? You didn't caught shoplifting. Yeah, but that was years ago and it was only a prune. <laughs> what then? You're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> oh, bugger. She's definitely pregnant. I think so. She's definitely hinting at it. Well, maybe she's faking it to get you to marry her. How's she gonna fake being pregnant? <laughs> no, she could eat lots of pies for nine months. <laughs> All right. And when it comes to a due date, she just takes a huge dump on the delivery table. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Garza, it appears Mr. Kipling's a father. <laughs> or she could hide a period from you. Where on earth is she gonna hide a period in the fridge? It's one black pudding you don't want to come across. <laughs> or she could just wear really big pants. Giganta pants. <laughs> That's not marketing, then. What are you talking about? I was just thinking, if Janet really was pregnant, then I'd have to, you know, stop sponging off society like a skanky old whore. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say get a job, but that pretty much covers it, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? You haven't got any qualifications. I have a degree in fun and a master's in hell-raising. <laughs> Friggin' fool. Yeah, well, your girlfriend's up the duff. <laughs> what is a duff? I'm not sure. I think it's a cross between a puff and a duck. <laughs> like a gay mallard. <laughs> Yeah, your girlfriend's up the gay mallard doesn't have the same ring, though. Really. <laughs> You're gonna have to talk to Gaz. Have you tried talking to Gaz? It's just a series of grunts and farts before he falls asleep. <laughs> just sounds like sex to me. <laughs> well, that's just it, isn't it? We never got round to the talking thing. What do you use? Said before. No. <laughs> I go to his flat and we do it. And I have a cheese balm. <laughs> and he cleans up the whipped cream and I go home. <laughs> so all you do is have sex? Yeah. And he does all the cleaning? Yeah. And you don't have to say and watch the football. Well, he insists I don't. You lucky wanker. <laughs> Rock me, Amadeus. Get off me, man! Get off me! God, I'm at that every 
irresistible, eh? Free me from this web of beauty, please. I don't bloody fancy you. You were cuddling me, you perv. Well, it's your hair. It smells of macadamia nuts. It's very inviting. Oh, God. <laughs> You're very cuddly, you know. You're like a bear. Stop it. You are. I mean, well, all right, then. A big, like, huge heterosexual bear with, like, teeth and claws. Right. And a moustache. Gaz. <laughs> all right, let's just forget this ever happened. We aren't confused. We've both got girlfriends. And this is just a, a sleepy accident. Right. OK. Sweetie. Get off. <laughs> Well, I say we've both got girlfriends, but yours has run away because you're a big baby, hasn't she, Gaz? Yes, well, you haven't got a job. Yeah, well, I'm going to get one. <clears throat> Where? What I need is something physical, yet creative, and challenging, yet... bootalicious. <laughs> you're going to strip, aren't you, John? <laughs> you won't get a job because you love Kilroy and watercolour challenge too much. Yeah, well, <laughs> you won't phone Donna because you like being a big cowardly custard too much, so... Uh... What do you think I should phone her, then? Well, when I thought Janet was pregnant, I ignored it and it went away. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty much a good rule for most probably. It sounds good to me. <laughs> Stunner! Hide me, Johnny! Hide! Johnny, hide me! <laughs> Don't be stupid, man! I can't have this baby. It's gonna ruin my life forever. Donna, think about all the benefits of having a baby. Yeah, I've thought about that. Love and satisfaction and pride, even. No, the benefits. Child benefit, family credit, dole housing benefit. <laughs> Donna, they're just waiting for you, Don. That's just wrong. No, everybody does it. Listen, we've given plenty to our country. Do you know what the tax is on fags and beer? It's about time we got some of that. I'll have to talk to me more. Honestly, there's a council house with your name on it, Donna. <laughs> you can get an inside bog if you have twins. That's good. <laughs> and if the twins are by a different father as well, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Don't nice. I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> Uh, Gaz, I know you're in there. Your pheromones are interfering with me. Uh. Oh! <laughs> All right, Louise. Hello, Johnny. Hand, please. <gasps> the poverty. What do you want, Louise? I came to see Donna, of course. Is she here? No, she's not. Oh, you'll do then. I had this weird dream last night that Donna had a baby. <gasps> and... What? You're psychic. Oh my god, this is amazing. Man, that's well scary. Wait, wait. The baby was cute, wasn't it? It had the head of a walrus. <laughs> so it's not mine. Donna's been doing it with marine life behind me back. <laughs> this has happened before. I always knew my gift would return. Ever since I was 13, and I dreamt I saw cornflakes and milk, and there was an overpowering smell of ammonia. <laughs> so? Well, the next morning I awoke, drifted down for breakfast, and on the table was cornflakes. And guess what else? Chris Akabusi? No! <laughs> milk! What about this smell of ammonia? Oh, well, my great aunt was visiting. She's always pissing herself. <laughs> Such a character. <laughs> Well, you've really done it this time, Donna. I know I failed you. No, I mean, you've really done it. I thought you were still a virgin. Well done. <laughs> Mum? Eh? I bet is into s and I could lend you my rubber cat suit. You just have to disinfect it first. <laughs> Did you not hear what I said? I'm pregnant. Did you not hear what I said? It's rubber. It'll stretch to full term. <laughs> this is deadly serious. I need you to be there for me. What do you think of my hair? Come on. <laughs> All right. It is lovely, though, isn't it? <laughs> right. Do you know your due date? Well, I've not been to the doctors yet. Well, you need to know your due date for when your waters break. Really? Oh, yeah. That wimp is still got its slippery floor sign up 22 years after. <laughs> yeah, Mum. Bit of advice as well. Never trust the salad bar. They might have a sneeze guard, but it's no match for embryotic fluid. <laughs> Come and see you. Come here, quick, Louise. Louise, do it again. This is amazing, this. Oh, God, is she going to dance for us? Shh, just watch. <laughs> Last night, I dreamt that Donna was pregnant. Oh, my God, how do you know that? I'm psychic. 
I often suspected I was, ever since an old gypsy woman touched my face and said that I was gifted. That was my nan. <laughs> she didn't say you were gifted, she said you were a git. <laughs> she is psychic. Louise, just predict next week's lottery numbers or something. Yeah, I bet she can. Ah, uh, you see, that is one thing us psychics cannot do. Oh, yeah, why's that then? Because it's like 14 million to one odds. Christ, are you thick or something? <laughs> I'll prove it, yeah. Louise, tell me what I'm thinking. <gasps> Dirty Gertie! See? All right, Louise, what am I thinking? That you should really stop being such a scruffy tramp and get yourself a bloody job, you big scav. <laughs> Spirits work in strange ways. So you're going to get a job, thank God. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I've got this shut idea. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> what did Donna say to you last night? About what? About go-karts. The spirits are telling me he's asking about the baby, Janet. <laughs> and are these spirits called no and obviously Louise? <laughs> did she say anything about me? Well, you're definitely the father. What, she's short? Because you could have, like, sat on something, couldn't you, by accident? <laughs> No, Gaz, she didn't say anything to me about sitting on an ejaculating man recently. What did she say what she was going to do? You don't even know. Well, she's the woman. Yeah, and you're the man. Oh, Janet, I think you'll find that's pronounced you damn man. Gaz! <laughs> she's had to go to a mum for support on this one. God, can you remember the last time you communicated with Donna? I mean, like, really talked? Well, yeah, I can remember the exact conversation, actually. Well, well, I said yes, and she said yes, yes. Then I said... Oh, baby, yes. <laughs> and she said, yes. Then I rebuttaled with, yes. Then she said, yes, yes, yes. And I said, can you pass the tissues, please? And she said, yes. <laughs> Not the deepest of relationships. Guys, have you ever taken her on a date? Well, no, but she's never taken me on one either. Oh, the <laughs> equality card. Well played, Gaz. <laughs> Johnny, isn't it time you did the ironing? Damn you, equality card. <laughs> I have a message for you from the other side. Oh, yeah? It's about your job. I see you dressed in a black suit, and there is a crowd around you. People are giving you money, and your face is solemn and ashen. <laughs> what, like a bank manager? No, 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 hold on. I think I know what Louise is saying. Yeah, the spirits have spoken, and I must follow. You big tosser. <laughs> Gaz, go and see Donna. She's with her mum right now. Why? Because you've got to get to know the mother of your child a bit better than you do now. You big tosser. There <laughs> <coughs> oh. was a time when you could just smoke in front of pregnant women. Yeah, let's round up on now, all right? My mother smoked all the way through pregnancy. It never did her any harm. Mum, you've got six toes on each foot. <laughs> How long does this thing take? About two minutes. One line for no, two for you. Yeah. Well, I can tell you're pregnant, you can see it. What, the pregnancy glow already? No, your ankles, I've never seen anything so puffy. <laughs> Need draining or shooting or something. <laughs> They're like grapefruits on a knitting needle. <laughs> test will be ready now, have a look. No way, I've had nothing to do with your urine for 20 years, I'm not going to start now. Fine. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, let's see. Well, no, I can't either. Mm. That could be a waterline. Yeah, it could, couldn't it? Or you could be a bit pregnant. <laughs> Just the insiest bit. I'll have to get to the doctors, aren't I? No. 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 When did you last have sex? I'm not telling you. Whatever. I'll work it out for myself then, shall I? <laughs> you waxed your bikini line two Wednesdays past. How do you know that? Don't worry, I've no special interest. It's just that your old IMAX strips stick to the waste paper bin. <laughs> um, it's like spiders have started a revolution against Wicca. <laughs> so? So, if you waxed, that means you were planning to have sex the following night. Hmm. You'll be onto something there. So how's the state of your bikini line now? Right, well, let me think. When did I last see my own clout? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this morning, I was thinking, what pants, what pants? What pants? That's a fetish, Mag. <laughs> and I remember thinking, they've got to be nice cos I'm going out, but they've also got to be big and black because... Yes. ..because I'm due on my period today. So you're not pregnant, then? You bloody idiot. Give us a fag. <laughs>
Oh, you look a twat. <laughs> Johnny, will you sit down? It's worse than when you got everyone to call you Daddy Cool. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what you're doing, right? So I'm going to watch and then I'm going to kill you. I'm a mime artist. A what? I'm a... Do you remember what Louise said before? Yeah, she said you'd wear black and be... Oh, my God, no! <laughs> got it in one, matey. <laughs> Johnny, all the girls are laughing at you. It looks bad on me. Stop it. Yeah, well, they won't be laughing when I'm raking it in, performing for children in the high street. If you're going to wear an outfit that tight, I don't think you should be allowed near children. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know how Donna is. I've not seen her. Ah, you see, you know what I was trying to say. I reckon I'm getting pretty good at this. I reckon I could go and tell it. You know, actually, yeah, you could do an advert for men's leotards because there's a huge demand for them right now. <laughs> yeah, well, you shouldn't even be in here. You should be with Donna. Yeah, it's just a bit of Dutch courage. I'll go after this Guinness. Oh, 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 Guinness. <laughs> Do I look like a pint of Guinness? <laughs> no, you still look like a twat. <laughs> I'm just trying to take a little bit of responsibility. You know, after me and Janet's pregnancy scare, I realised I needed to get a bit more stable. You know, get myself a job and that. Get serious. <laughs> look at the state of you, though. You need a proper job to be a responsible adult. I'm being responsible. You know, if Donna decides to keep this baby, I'm going to have to get rid of all my gorgeous clothes and dress like you. What, well, I'm an artist? Hey, we could perform together. It could be a great opportunity. I'm talking about taking responsibility. I'm not talking about wearing something so tight it kills all my sperm. <laughs> Cheers. Shut it. <laughs> Cheers for coming over. Thanks for inviting me. There you go. Oh, thank you. So, so. <laughs> Are you going to ask me or what, Gaz? Uh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um. I. Are you? Are you? Are you? I mean, am I? Am I? Am I going to be a? A cake. <laughs> Gaz. Sorry, sorry. I'm just. I'm just a bit nervous. You know, it's a bit difficult because I don't really know you that well. So. You know me well enough to sleep with me. I know a tub of utterly butterly well enough to sleep with you. It's just the talky bit that does me in. Right, okay, just relax. And then ask me, you ready? Okay, hang on. You ready? Right, go on. Uh... <laughs> Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Are you? Okay, you've got two options. You either ask me or I inflict pain, and it's not the nice spanky kind of pain either, it's the inserting things into you kind of pain. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Um. OK, um... What are you going to do with the baby? What do you think I should do? Well, I respect your decision, you know, whatever you want is fine by me. I'm a responsible adult who doesn't mime. <laughs> Good for you. What if I wanted to keep it? Um, well, that'd be good and um, decisive and, and it'd be good. If I wanted to get rid of it? Well, I'd support you and um, I wouldn't judge you at all for murdering my son. It's nice. <laughs> And your intentions would be... Honourable. <laughs> Honourable? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd have to adjust a bit, but I... I could probably marry you. You asking me? Well, aren't you supposed to? That's what they do in Heartbeat. <laughs> Gaz. All right, well, well, not marriage then, but I could take responsibility for you. Yeah, yeah, you, you could move in here, and then I'd work double shifts to make it work, and, and you would stay at home with a baby and bake. <laughs> Bake. Yeah. No, that's heartbeat again, isn't it? So... <laughs> Gary. I mean, I could be like, I could be like a proper father for you, like one I never had. You know what? I could be Patrick Duffy. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I've got my dates mixed up. I'm not pregnant at all. Johnny, will you please take that stupid suit off? I know the spirits told you to wear black, but I'm sure they didn't mean for you to bulge so unpleasantly. <laughs> Louise, will you shut up? If you want to prove you're a psychic, tell me something about me I've never told you. You had a turbulent childhood. My God, you are psychic. <laughs> you are also at a crossroads in your life. I am. And your boyfriend eats cat food. No, no, that one's not true. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Johnny? Oh, I'm scaring myself now. Why would you even have cat food in the house? You don't even have a cat. Well, you're the psychic. You tell us. Because there was a two-for-one offer on? No. 
You bought a tin without a label. No, just drop it, OK? It's because... Look, I like the taste, OK? <laughs> it's the meaty chunks in jelly. I can't resist. Oh. <laughs> Between your collection of toenail clippings and your cat food consumption, you are the most disgusting couple I've ever met. <laughs> Look, Louise, where's Gaz and Donna now? Look into the crystal ashtray and toes. OK. I can see them. They're in Gaz's flat. They're laughing. <gasps> they're so happy. And they're eating fried chicken. They're so happy about their new baby over the moon. <laughs> Get off. He was like this this morning. He's insatiable for Johnny. Is he still crying? What happened? Well, I started my period. <gasps> what, for the first time? You're 12 or something? <laughs> No, it's not. I really wanted to be a dad. I just wanted to be a responsible adult, manly man. I started looking forward to it and everything. The birth and the afterbirth. <laughs> My gifts have been removed from me. Stolen. This is so upsetting. Cheer up, Louise. The spirits might not have said it, but you managed to make Johnny look like a complete wanker for most of the afternoon. <laughs> I just wanted a bit of stability in me booze, babes, and the soon lifestyle. <laughs> you know, I wanted a bit of responsibility. I, I wanted to be like Patrick Duffy. You can get responsibility from a loving adult relationship with Donna. Yeah? <laughs> will you marry me? Yeah, will I bugger me? <laughs> will you marry me? Um, I'm promised to a friend of my father's cousin. Arranged marriages and all that. Louise, your Church of England. Shh, Donna. It's my only way of getting rid of thick blokes. <laughs> Gaz, you don't need to get married to grow up a bit. Why don't you try getting to know your girlfriend a bit before you go off marrying someone else? Like Prince Charles? Yeah. <laughs> well, you think that'd work? Well, it's worth a try. OK. <clears throat> um, I've never asked you this before, and it's going to sound a bit weird, cos we've been shagging each other's brains out for the last month. But, um. <laughs> Would you like to go for a drink with me sometime? God, that sounded old. Mm. I'd love to go for a drink with you guys. Yeah? Mm. All right, well, I'll meet you at the garage at 8 o'clock on Tuesday and I'll uh, escort you to the finest drinking establishment there is. <laughs> Make sure you wear that pearl necklace I gave you. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> what? It's a special gift right from the bottom of my sack. Oh, oh. like Father Christmas. <laughs> Tonight, then somewhere a bit grown up, a bit sophisticated. You what? I was supposed to be having a nice grown up -y relationship. I, I think that means taking me to wine bars and stuff. No, 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 it just means I've got to talk to you as well as give you one from now on. <laughs> Probably save time and doing both at once if you want. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> £1,000. £1,000! £1,000? Oh, my God! He's gonna buy me an engagement ring. Do you think we'll get married and have some sex? Well, I'm not sure about the first. We hardly know each other. But the second one, that's a dead cert, is it? Come on, my son! 